That long, huh? That long? Hey folks, I'm Tim Black. You're tuning to Tim's Take Live. Did you know it's been 140 hours since the murder? No, the execution of Mike Brown? Yeah, 140 hours. Wow. Well, look, I'm pleased to announce that the police have finally released some information about the killing. Well, let me, let me rephrase that. Not about the killing, not about the autopsy, about how many bullets were plugged into this young man's body, not about the trajectory of the bullets, nor about the distance from the gun and the man's body that it, you know, that there was. No. What they've released is some footage, just as important. Information that shows that uh, Mr. Brown may have stolen cigarettes from a convenience store. Yep. First thing I got to say is I want to issue a warning to all black folks out there. Stay away from cigarettes. It's deadly for you. And I'm not talking about cancer or emphysema. I'm talking about getting shot or choked to death. If you remember just recently, Eric Garner was choked to death. Why? He was selling cigarettes. And now Mike Brown is shot to death. Why? He stole cigarettes. So just stay away from cigarettes. Next, we're going to go blow up Benson and Hedges. Or the Philip Morris Company. We're going to blow that up. They're next on the list. So anyway. Oh, and the other thing is this. All my people out there who support Eric, um, not Eric, but Eric Garner, but who support Mike Brown, do me a favor. Stop denying that this is Mike Brown. Just stop it. You are not helping the situation by saying, I'm not sure that's him. I don't think that's him. I don't know if that's him. It is him. Okay? It's okay. I know a lot of people out there, they're trying to use this as ammunition to paint Mike Brown as some type of devil. I understand you don't want to give him that. But know this. You painting him as an angel doesn't help either. We all know, most, at least most reasonable people know, that people, real people, are not just one thing. So it's very possible a person who stole some cigarettes could also be a person who did not deserve to get shot in the head in the middle of the street from a distance. The other thing that's come to my attention is that there are a number of people who have called me racist. Tim is racist. All because I called this killing of Mike Brown an execution. But some of those people have been around for a while and they know that I called the killing of Kelly Thomas an execution. And I called the killing of James Boyd in New Mexico an execution. And those people had no problem with it. They didn't call me a racist. You know why? Because I was supporting a white guy. Why is it that when I support someone black, I'm all of a sudden a racist? Could it be that I just believe that the killing shooting of Mike Brown was an execution? When you shoot someone who is unarmed, who poses no threat to you, I consider that an execution. You may use other words for it. You know, justifiable shooting, what he had coming, justice playing out the way it should. I know that's your terminology for it. But for me, <laughs> I happen to call it an execution. One thing that bothers me about this whole thing is that there are American citizens out there who believe other American citizens would protest the death of a man if they thought that man was trying to kill an officer. You know how often black people get shot by cops? Like one every 28 hours. If we went around protesting every time a guy got shot by a cop, we wouldn't have time to do nothing else. Broaden your horizons. Recognize that regardless to what Mike Brown did before, it doesn't matter if the man was unarmed and you shot him. You can't just shoot the running man. If that's the case, Hammer would have been dead a long time ago. I don't care what you say at this point, it looks like a smear campaign. They do this every time, ladies and gentlemen. They bring out little things in the past of the victim and make the victim look bad. It's a way they use to camouflage lack of action or wrong actions on their part. And a lot of us go for it too. They buy into it. I'm tired 
of every time I turn around, I'm knowing everything about the victim, what they ate for breakfast, what they put on an Instagram account, but I'm never knowing anything about the shooter. No toxicology on the shooter, no background checks on the shooter, nothing. All they're going to say now is, well, maybe Mike Brown smoked a little bit of weed. And you know, whenever we smoke weed, we attack cops while they're inside their cruiser and try to take guns from them. Anyway, folks, that's all I got. Look, I had a good time on the Drunken Peasants podcast last night. If you didn't see it, click this link and go see it. It's a lot more of, uh, lighter, you know, than this story. But as you can see, I'm back to business today, and it's time to make the donuts. <laughs>